All right, so we're gonna work on some spelling words. If you do not have this worksheet printed out in front of you, please go ahead and get out your scrap piece of paper and your pencil now. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start in the little box and I'm gonna read from left to right. We're gonna read our words. If you would read those with me, pencil, magnet, publish, supper, letter, lady, gravy, solo, open, and odor. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna read our directions. A, word meaning. Write the spelling word for each definition. So number one, we have the word alone. So we're gonna look up there in that box and figure out which one of those words mean alone. You are correct, the word solo means alone. For the talent show, I will sing solo. So that means I will sing a song by myself. All right, number two, something that sticks to metal. That would be a magnet. Earlier in the school year, if you remember, we read the story, How Magnets Work, and we talked about magnets. Number three is sauce. Now, this one I feel like could be a little tricky because it's not the right, the word I would use on a daily basis for sauce, but it is gravy. Now, generally I would say ketchup and mustard and ranch. I would call those things sauce maybe like mild sauce, but they are saying that gravy is sauce. All right, so number four, an evening meal. An evening meal is supper. Now, most of us call our evening meal dinner but I know that my grandma and maybe some of the older generations still may refer to it as supper. My grandma will call me and ask if I wanna come up for supper. All right, number five, a smell. Odor. So sometimes when you think of an odor, you automatically think a nasty smell, but that's not necessarily the case. You could smell a good odor such as flowers or a cake baking, or you could smell a nasty odor such as trash that needs taken out, or maybe a rotten piece of fruit. All right, number six is woman. So that word would be lady. All right, so let's look at part B. Write a spelling word on the line to complete each sentence. So it looks like we have one, two, three, four words left up there. We have pencil, publish, letter, and open left. So number seven. The blank window lets air in the room. That would be open. And right now on these nice warm days that we're having, some days have been a little bit warmer than other, it's probably good to crack open your windows and get some fresh air if you're not able to get outside and play. All right, number eight, use a blank to write your answers. What are we gonna use? A pencil. I know most of us teachers 
do not really like students to use anything other than a pencil because we do make mistakes still. Even teachers make mistakes and we need to be able to erase our mistakes with an eraser on our pencil. Number nine, the newspaper will blank an essay I wrote. What will the newspaper do? They will publish. Now, if they publish an essay you wrote, that means they are going to make it available for other people to read. So if you publish something in the newspaper, that means your article would be printed out in the newspaper and all kinds of people would be able to read it. If you publish a book, that means your book has been approved and it's going to be able to be sold in the stores. All right, number 10. I wrote a blank and put it in the mailbox. I wrote a letter. 